It's time for Show Off Sunday, where everyone has a chance to show off their own car, and here's this week's winner. Hey, Scotty. This is my 2019 Bullet Edition Mustang. The exhaust on the bullet was tuned to sound exactly like the 68 Mustang from the movie. Great sounding for a stock exhaust. The premium 401A package also comes with the digital dash. We're in normal mode right now, but if you change into sport mode, the dash changes, rearranges the tack, but also in track mode and drag strip mode. Track and drag strip mode, the tack is the main focus, so it's put at the top. There is also a snow and wet mode. The bullets are numbered, and I wanted to get a low build number within the top 50. Luckily, this one's number 23. That's pretty cool if you're a Michael Jordan fan. Visual modifications for the car are the radiator cover painted to match. I also installed RTR hood vents and painted them to match. They are functional and they do remove more heat from under the hood than the factory hood vents. Also, the window switch covers were colored matched. Another amazing fact about the car is it's supposed to be 480 horsepower at the flywheel. I believe Ford underrated them. We dyno tested the car and got 446 horsepower at the wheels. With drivetrain loss, that's over 510 horsepower at the flywheel. Maybe because that's a little close to the Shelby GT350, which is about $10,000 more. and torque is 387. Another interesting fact about the car is it was used in the testing and development of the Tuning by James tune which is going into the limited edition Steve McQueen Steed Up Mustang Bullets. They're building only 300 of these for 2019 and 300 of these for 2020. The bullet uses the Shelby GT350's cold air intake, 87 millimeter throttle body, and upper intake manifold to make 480 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. That's 20 over the standard GT. Some of the hidden interior upgrades are green stitching on the dash, center console, and the seats. So the car is fun to drive. It's not a daily driver. It's not driven in the rain. But when we have good weather like this, I try to get out as, as much as possible. the magnetic shocks from the Shelby GT350. It's called MagnaRide and it handles like a dream. And it can easily get you in trouble also. The Performance Package 1 comes with the Brembo 6 piston brakes and they work very well. It also has stiffer springs and sway bars. It does come with the uh, Ford Racing radiator to cool things off. It's definitely worth the price of the package, just the brakes. And Mustangs do handle now. Also the rev matching. Is amazing. I think some people might find it annoying, but you can turn it off in the settings, I just keep it on. No ticket so far, but hey, when you're driving this car, sometimes you just go into a daze and look down and you're doing a whole lot faster than you want to be. Definitely feel that extra 20 horse. 
horsepower, but in the upper RPMs, this car really pulls hard. It does have the active exhaust, and I have never put it in quiet mode. <laughs> So there you have it. There's only three options for the bullet. The Recaro seats, the electromagnetic shocks, and the electronics package with the B&O sound system, 12 speakers, and 1,000 watts. Now the bullet starts at 47,000. If you package a GT with the same options, it comes up over $52,000. Now remember, the bullet is a premium Mustang, 401A package, performance package one, navigation, enhanced security. A lot of packages go with this and it starts at 47K. So it turns out the bullet is more than just a green GT because after optioning it for $52,000 similarly, you still wouldn't have the performance parts from the Shelby GT350 or the tuning. And there is that issue about the 480 horsepower being underrated. I'm Desmond, thanks Scotty Kilmer, and this is my 2019 Bullet Edition Mustang. video and remember to have your car video highlighted here on my channel check this out so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos remember to ring that bell